afternoon, everybody. This is Bart from MultiRotorForums.com, and we're back talking about the Dromeda Ominous. We blew this a little bit as part of our review for uh, medium micro quads before the holidays. And I spoke with a rep from Hobbyco. I spoke with a rep from Hobbyco when I was at Meat Fair about a month and a half ago or a month ago. And um, he mentioned to me that it's actually possible to uh, do a little bit of tuning with your Ominous. And so I'm going to talk about that real quick. It's going to be a short video, just kind of a follow up now that I've learned this uh, information. Wanted to share it with you guys. So this is the Dromeda Ominous. It's a great little quad. It's good for learning. It's good for practicing. If you're indoors for a long winter like I've been, uh, you can fly it around. I should be flying it a lot more, but I haven't been. But it's a good helicopter. It flies well. Uh, like I said, good learning helicopter, good for flying around, uh, you know, learning new tricks inside the house. Um, but there's a couple of details about it that aren't really obvious from reading the manual, and there's one thing specifically that's not very well publicized, and uh, that is a little bit of tuning that you can do with it. So. Real quick, there's four flight modes. There's actually two different modes, and each one has two positions. So combinations of each one make four flight modes. The first one is being able to turn off the assistance from the flight controller. And when your lights on the bottom are solid, uh, that's indicating that the flight controller is in auto level mode. Auto level mode means if you take off flying this way and you let go of the stick, the helicopter is going to immediately try to right itself. Now that helps you as a new pilot. It helps uh, to keep the helicopter from zooming off in one direction or another because as the helicopter starts moving, you let go of the stick and it levels. So it doesn't want to keep going. Now you can turn that off and the mode change is indicated when these lights start flashing. Okay, And that's this button on the right side of the uh, radio. So you press that button and the lights are flashing. So that means the helicopter is no longer going to try to level itself uh, in order to help you. It's going to if you put it in this attitude, it's going to stay in that attitude. It's going to keep zooming away until you level it and then fly it back. And when you fly it back, you have to level it again. When a helicopter like this is perfectly level, it won't drift in any one direction. It'll stay still unless there's a wind if you're outside. If you're inside where there's no wind, a perfectly level helicopter should stay in one spot. If it starts to lean in one direction, it's going to go in that direction. That's how a multi-rotor helicopter gets around. So. Keeping it level, it's uh, helpful for you if the flight control system can do that. And so again, when those lights are solid, it's auto level mode, which is uh, more of a beginner mode. And when those lights are flashing, it's in attitude mode or manual mode, depending on the flight control system. There's different names for it, but in, in that mode, that more advanced mode with those lights flashing, you put the helicopter at an attitude, it's going to stay there and keep going until you control it and bring it back. Okay, so that's one thing. Being able to turn on and off the assistance from the flight control. It's indicated by those lights. Another mode involves pressing down this right stick. You press the stick down and you hear the, uh, the tones. There's a low tone and a high tone. That's the low tone. That's the high tone. The high tone and the low tone represent different rates on the radio. So with the low tone, uh, if you move the stick a certain distance, the helicopter is going to respond. On the high tone, you move the stick that same distance and the helicopter is going to respond more. So it's almost like dual rates where the low tone is the low rate, makes the helicopter less responsive, which is better for a beginner, and the high rate, which is better for an advanced flyer, where the helicopter becomes more responsive for the same movements of the stick. Okay, so those are your four modes. There's assistance on or off, and then there's low mode and high mode, which you change by pressing the stick up, you know, you press it down, and you get that tone. This light also indicates uh, the mode for the stick. And in low mode, you can see the light is off. In high mode, the light is on. With this helicopter with the assistance off, it's now flashing. This light is more confusing to me. So what I do is I just look to see if this is flashing or not. That means I'm getting assistance, yes or no. And that tone, when I press the button, or when I press the stick in, 
that tone is telling me high or low rate. Low tone for low rates, high tone for high rates. Okay, now the other thing uh, that I didn't know and that, like I said, is not readily available on the internet uh, is the ability to set the gain. So the helicopter has a basic um, gain function where the lower the gain, the less the helicopter is going to really try to do what you're telling it to do. So it's going to be a little less precise, but it's also going to be more forgiving. And it comes from the factory pretty much with the gain set all the way down. To change the gains to a higher setting so the helicopter is more feels more dialed in, um, the way you do that is with the power on for the helicopter, and be careful you don't hit yourself with the propellers when you do this, um, you press this right stick down and hold it, and you're going to hear beep, followed by a series of beeps. Once that series of beeps happens, you set the left stick. I just did what I told you not to do, and I jumped again. I did that earlier. Um, when you move, <laughs> when you move that left stick um, while holding down the right stick, the motors won't start. But what happens is you move the left stick, and that's going to represent the gain that you want. So it comes factory set all the way low. But let's do this. I'll press down the right stick and hold it. You'll hear the tone start beeping. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is move the left stick up. And I'm going to move it to about three quarters and then let go of the right stick. Okay? So now, what I've done is I've advanced the gain in the flight control system. And again, what that does is it makes the helicopter try to follow your commands more uh, aggressively. Okay? And you're going to see this more in manual mode than you will in uh, that auto level mode that we talked about. So, let's just do it in auto level first. It's going to be hard for you to see in the camera. But that's auto level mode. You can see the helicopter is... This is manual mode. This controller uh, is a little different from a regular RC controller, and every helicopter flies differently. So uh, it's going to take a little time as you transition into this helicopter if you've been flying other stuff. It's going to take a little time to get used to it. But um, what you're going to see as you're making these gain adjustments is that the helicopter is just going to be, we call it linear, where it actually follows the helicopter's mo movements follow the motion of the stick or the position of the stick a lot more closely and um, that's how you get you know a more responsive flying helicopter so that when you move the stick it's doing what you want it to do uh, immediately all right and that's what setting that gain is going to do for you and setting it higher makes it more responsive and then if you don't like it you can always just hold the, hold the right stick down wait for it to start beeping and then wherever the position of the left stick is when you let go, that's going to be your gain setting. So you can just set it right back to factory default, bring this left stick back, and then let go, and you've reset it. Okay, so I hope that helps. Again, I'm Bart from multirotorforums.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to discuss your Ominous or any other multirotor helicopter, come on by. Uh, we're there. Thank you.